This list deals with a collection of transformed pairs and some examples. You can find these notes in the ECE 202 ebook in chapter 9, starting on page 13. In our chapter 9 videos, we were taking functions in the time domain and transforming them into functions in the S domain. Let's collect these into a table. We showed that the Laplace transform of an impulse, which is called delta of t, was equal to 1. A step u of t was equal to 1 over s. A ramp, t times u of t, was 1 over s squared. An exponential of e to the minus alpha t times u of t was 1 over s plus alpha. Our next was t times e to the minus alpha t times u of t. But I could use one of our properties of s domain translation. I've already found the Laplace transform of t times u of t, which was equal to 1 over s squared. Multiplying anything by e to the minus alpha t replaces s by s plus alpha. So we have s plus alpha squared. We found the Laplace transform of a sine and a cosine. Found that the sine was beta over s squared plus beta squared, where beta was the scalar multiplying t. Likewise, for the cosine of beta t, we found that it was s over s squared plus beta squared. We could also find the damped sine and cosine by multiplying by e to the minus alpha t. This is simply replacing here s by s plus alpha. If we do that for our sine function, we get s plus alpha squared plus beta squared. The numerator stays the same. For the cosine, we're replacing s by s plus alpha. So here's s plus alpha and s plus alpha squared plus beta squared. Let's next use this table to take a function from the time domain and convert it to the s domain. Suppose that we have 2 u of t minus 5 e to the minus 2t times u of t, 3 times the cosine of 2t u of t, plus 3 times the sine of 2t u of t. So think of this maybe as a voltage source or as a current source. So our linearity property says that the Laplace transform of the sum is the sum of the Laplace transforms. So take the Laplace transform of the first term, we just have a scalar in front. Likewise here we've got a scalar of minus 5. Next one we have a scalar of 3, and another scalar of 3. Okay, looking up in our table then, the Laplace transform of u of t is 1 over s, multiply that by 2, where e to the minus alpha t, we have 1 over s plus alpha, and we get a minus 5 multiplying that. We have a 3 here times our cosine, which was s over s squared plus 4. And then for the sine of 2 of t, we have beta, which is 2, times 3, which is 6, over s squared plus beta squared, which is 4. But a common denominator. That's going to be s times s plus 2 times s squared plus 4. So multiplying that by this first term, the s is canceled, and I get 2 times s plus 2 times s squared plus 4. Multiplying this by this term, the s plus 2 term cancels, and I get 5 times s, and then times s squared plus 4. Multiplying this by this term, this drops out, and I get a s times s plus 2 times 3 of s, and likewise for this one here, I'd have s times s plus 2 times 6. Multiply all this out. I've got 2 times s times s squared, that's 2s cubed. And I've got 2 times s times 4, that's 8s. And then I've got 2 times 2 times s squared, that's 4s squared. And I've got 2 times 2 times 4, which is 16. Then minus 5s times s squared, which is minus 5s cubed. Multiplying that by 4, I get minus 20s. Here I've got 3s cubed. And then I've got 3s squared times 2, or 6x squared. And then 6x squared plus 12 times s. Let's add all these up. So I've got 2s cubed minus 5s cubed plus 3s cubed. And that is equal to 0 times s cubed. 4s squared, 6s squared, 6s squared, that would be 16s squared. And then I've got 12s minus 20s and plus 8s, and that cancels also. So just have a 16 left over. Could pull out the 16 of s squared plus 1 divided by s times s plus 2 times s squared plus 4. And that would be the s domain equivalent of our source in a time domain. We'll later use the table to go back the other way. And that's taking a result like this and come back into the time domain. Let's do another example. So let's have a waveform that's equal to e to the minus 2t u of t plus 4t u of t minus u of t. The Laplace transform of the sum would be the sum of the Laplace transforms. So the Laplace transform of e to the minus alpha is 1 over s plus alpha, so s plus 2. A ramp is just going to be 1 over s squared and times the scalar 4. And then the Laplace transform of a step is just 1 over s. Yeah, let's find a common denominator. Looks like s squared times s plus 2. So multiplying that times the first term, the s plus 2 cancels, and I get s squared times 1. Then multiplying this denominator times this, the s squares cancel, I get 4 times s plus 2. Applying this denominator times this, one of the s's cancel, and I just get s times s plus 2. And then a minus sign here. Multiply this out, I get s squared, 4s plus 8, minus s squared, minus 2s. Get some term cancellation. This cancels with this. Got 4s minus 2s, so that's just 2s. 
and then plus 8. I pull out the 2 over here, divided by s squared times s plus 2. And so we use our table of Laplace transform pairs to take functions in the time domain and to find their values in the s domain.